Hello, welcome to the new video from City Ink Express. So today we're going to be covering refillable cartridges for Canon printers. So this model at the moment is a TS705 and what I'm going to talk about is the various cartridges that you can get and what's supplied with them and how to fill and use one. So typically refillable cartridge will come be in a bag and one thing you'll notice inside some of them is a clear seal so it depends where you've bought them from to be honest now this the seal they here they come in various thicknesses and as you can see it looks like the print the seal that goes on top of the the print head so as standard with our cartridges they're supplied with in each in the bag and there's one for every cartridge now whether you have to fit this or not you need to refer to the instructions so the purpose of the silicon seal basically is if you turn the cartridge pop the cap off it basically it's to avoid minor imperfections by the mold companies in China where there's a slight possibly deviation around the bottom here and by putting this seal on top of the seal that's already there it basically closes an airtight seal so that there's no air drawn in and you get a good quality print. Now, depending on the cartridge itself, the instructions will tell you whether or not you have to fit the seal for that colour, all colours, one colour, the large black, the small black. There's a few variants, so we do recommend that you refer to your instructions. Sometimes you can get it where the seals have to be fitted to all of them or, or just a variant. So if you fit the seal when it's not supposed to be fitted, you can get a non-airtight seal and no ink will be drawn out. And vice versa, if you don't fit it when it should be fitted, again, it, you know you can run into problems with, with that as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how the seals are normally fitted and again you could have bought these and there'll be no seals at all and that just but the instructions will reflect that and that will just mean you don't have to fit any so i do you know we do recommend that you look at the instructions that were provided with the kit so the print head itself it has some seals on it that are already covered by canon so i'm going to move zoom in so you can you see you can see the seals that we're talking about so the seals that are already fitted, you can see them on the print head, they're black ones. Now, if, you are, if you've been asked to remove them, we do recommend that you, you save them in case you ever need them again. So a couple of different possible scenarios you get where the instructions tell you to fit the seal on top of the seal that's already there. So to fit the seal that's on top of, that's already there, you're basically just going to place it, you're just going to place it on top and you're just going to dab around just careful not to push the print head. Now, it's on top there, but what I found with that typically is there's, there's some room there that when you're taking the cartridges in and out to refill them, that basically you can dislodge them. So the best option, to be honest, is take the small one out. And this way there's going to be no movement whatsoever. Pop it pop it underneath yeah that way there's going to be no movement whatsoever and there we are so it's actually underneath on that one there so you can see so again refer to the instructions so that that's option one where you're told to fit an additional silicon seal so I'm just going to put that back how it was so so you would generally have to do that to the cartridges that need it. So that's option one. The other option, the other variant that you can get is where you're actually told to remove the cannon seal and replace it with a whole new seal. And again, it's not unusual. So I've taken that one off. And this one in particular, it's the large black. So the large black, you see, it's got, it's got a narrow point here at the front, just where it's a bit narrow. That, tends to be the front of the cartridge so so you've only got to do this once remember it's just initially and that's it so so we're done there's a couple of variants that you can get where you have to replace or fit silicon seals so what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
So for this particular model, I do know in question for this particular model, the TS 7A5, it requires it requires them all removing. That doesn't mean you have to, just refer to your instructions. Yeah. So I'm gonna place and again, you can use your fingers, I'm only but you, if you just do it with your fingers you can get a bit of ink on there, so and it's not complicated, so if you're watching this prior to prior to purchasing the product, yeah, you've only got to do it once, so And it is it is basically to to improve the quality and the consistency and reliability of the print. So it's there for a reason, yeah. And that's it. So I'm gonna I have filled some of the cartridges all, already, so I'm going to I'm gonna pop these in the printer, the ones that I've already refilled. Then what I'll do is I'll, I'll zoom out and then just let you uh, see me filling the one last cartridge. Right, so I've done four of them. So I'm going to close the lid. Now remember, save your black ones. You never know when you might need them. So I'm going to refill this last cartridge now and just show you. Put a piece of tissue down or a bit of paper or something. So this one, it doesn't have the signing in. So I'm going to remove the yellow tape basically if you don't remove the yellow tape and try and fill it first and try and fill it that way it takes forever for the uh, ink to soak through one thing I'm going to check there I noticed is that when I remove the depending on the time of the year I removed the yellow paper and then I could t the yellow tape and I could tell there was something so yeah it's clear I just I thought there was a bit of residue over the uh, from where the breather hole. So I'm going to remove the small flat plug or the coloured plug and that's your refill hole. So taking your syringe and your needle I'm tilting it at an angle basically just to speed the process up. And that's it, we're done. So I'm going to replace the plug on top. Just dab that bit of ink off and we're done. So I'm going to pop this in the printer now and we're finished. So as you can see, they are quite simple to use. It's really easy to weave fell. comes with the bottles and everything uh, if you've ordered it with ink. And then you're just going to pop it in the printer and we're done. So. Now when you're taking it off the orange cradle, 
I would recommend if you keep your finger over the breather hole at the end it will stop any excess drips happening first time around it never happens so pop that in and we're done and it's easy it's as easy as that to use a, a refillable cartridge for Canon printers and that's the latest video from City Ink Express thanks for watching